when I was around 13 years old, I went to the doctor's office. At this point, I weighed 150 pounds, and the doctor, he let me know that I was considered obese on the BMI chart. And this honestly played with my mental so much. I was 13, like what did I know? I just knew that this doctor was telling me I was obese. And I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta lose weight then. I went to a, per, like a professional dance school growing up. And so I danced eight hours a day. And you guys, I literally lived off of oatmeal and a protein bar. That is all I ate. How horrible is that? And the doctor told me that he would like to see me get to 120 pounds. He's like, if, I, if you could get to 115, 120 pounds, that would put you in a healthier weight range. 150 was the lowest I could get. My body would just physically not let me get any smaller than that. My hot take is that that BMI chart is bullshit. It's absolutely ridiculous that we should all be graded on a chart. I really don't think you should use that as a good metric of whether you're healthy or not. I think you should look at what you eat and what you do in a day. You can get your blood work done. I think that's a way better scale of health than just this silly little chart that we just decided was everyone needs to fit into a specific category. That literally makes no sense. This is a real hot take. Some people that have been considered obese can be healthier than skinny people. Like I don't think skinny means healthy. Genetically, they could be skinny, but eat terrible and never work out. Oh my gosh, a giant bug just got on my window. Woo! Other hot take. I think doctors look at weight more than underlining actual issues. Can weight play a really big part in your health issues? Yes. Should you take your health seriously? Yes, a thousand percent. Your mental and physical health are so important and you need to take care of them every single day. However, I have had it so many times where I would go to doctors, my mom would go to doctors, my friends would go to doctors, and before they even listened to their symptoms, they would just say, you need to lose weight. You're not even gonna listen to like did you did y'all see granny getting it so granny made me lose my train of thought but basically find a doctor that's actually gonna listen to you as a patient starving yourself and working out like crazy is not healthy it is a hot take that i feel like a lot of people will argue with me for and i don't know why they want to argue with me for it they're like oh no if you just work out and starve yourself You'll, you'll burn off your fat. And I do believe that eating in a calorie deficit and exercising more can help you lose weight. That is correct. However, starving yourself is never the case. Never the case. I used to starve myself. I did it. And guess what? All it does is mess up the way that you burn calories and the way that you store food. Even though you might be seeing some quick results here and there, five years from now, two years from now, even a couple of months from now, you put on more weight than you probably even started with and you're having a harder time trying to lose the weight this time. I was only eating oatmeal and protein bars. It took me years to fix it. And my progress in my body and my health would have been like light years ahead of what it is right now if I would have not done that in the first place. Eat as healthy as you can. Move your body the best that you can. Love yourself, practice self-love. That is just the most, that's just so important. And if you need tips on practicing on self-love, that is what this channel is for. We are here to share our hot takes, our stories, our experiences, and just learn to love ourselves more. I want to know your hot takes. What are your hot takes on being overweight? You feel you have been personally victimized by this scale? All opinions are welcome, but if you are bullying people, you will be blocked. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of my hot takes in the comments, and I will share your hot takes in my next video. Cheers!